Hey there, all my heroes. It's me, Super Sebastian, and I just want to give you all... Did I want to give it to you? I don't want to give it to you because you've already had it. But I want to say I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I did want to make a video a little bit sooner than when I did do it, but I've been lazy and dumb and playing a game, and that's what happened, and I'm just being lazy, which I have a lot of stuff. I got a lot of things for Christmas that I need to put into gear so I can get some new stuff on my channel. Not just video games, but other things too that are a little bit... There we go, we're carrying the light. That are a little bit more entertaining than just video games. Because video games, everyone's doing that. And I think I need to be a little... I need to branch out from people. So I'm going to put my creativity to use, my speaking to use, and not just being... You know, a gamer, a game commentator. I do love playing games, and I will keep on doing game commentary, but I want to do other things too. But right now, I want to just address my favorite games for 2015. I do want to do a little game video, uh, game of the year. I have a couple of favorites here that I'm staring at right now. I got two in this pile. I brought two extra ones up. I didn't mean to bring two extra ones up. Those are from 2014, which are really great games, though. This game right here, Shadow of Mordor, you're you're seeing it backwards right now, and I'm looking all over the place because I need to see the camera. There we go. This is a great game, 2014, Far Cry 4, awesome game, 2014. I just grabbed those because I was like, was that 2014 or was that 2015? No, the games I'm talking about right now are 20. These are 2015 for sure. Let's uh, see if I can't turn. Let's do this. Really bad camera angle here. There we go. So I have six games here total. You can't really see them. Let me turn this sideways, make it a lot easier. Can you see me at all? Can you? Do I need to slouch down? Holy smokes, I need to order myself a tripod for this little phone. I got six games here. You can't see them because that is completely cut out. But we have The Witcher, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Ooh, we got Fallout 4. You're seeing these all backwards. Just Cause 3, I just got this game. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, the Battlefront, Mad Max. Now let's get the ones out of the way first that I want to spend a little bit of time talking about. We're going to go Mad Max, this game right here. This game right here was a tedious game. I am someone who likes to do a lot with my video games, play them through, do every little possible thing to make my character the best, the meanest, the smartest, you know, a complete survivalist. So that my game is really easy and smooth and my character is just OP, which is uh, overpowered. Pe people don't understand what that is. Good game. Tedious has a great storyline to it. Um, once you get past all the grinding and all the farming, that game is awesome. It, it gets really cool. The storyline's immaculate. I love it. The next game I want to talk about, I'll tell you my favorites after I kind of talk about each one. Another game I liked. Let's talk about Fallout 4. Fallout 4 pisses me off quite a bit. I've been I had a couple of videos up on my channel. This game irritates me a wee bit, just a wee bit. Uh, it's not as easy as the other ones were. I find myself constantly getting killed all the time, nonstop. I'm constantly saving because I'm gonna get killed. I already know it, and that's kind of saddening. I feel like with everything that they put into it, with the building aspect. Building your settlement with the whole what other aspect I not like of it. It seems like they changed something. They changed something else. And this game, you know, is kind of making me sad. It makes me not want to play it as much. Which I love games and I love playing them, but this one has me a little bit downtrodding. I maybe I'll get into it. Maybe I just need to level up my character different, differently or do something else completely. But. This might not be, this will be up on my channel, of course, but I might not be posting a million videos of that. I'll play through, post a video, show you where I'm at, what I'm doing, that sort of thing. Let's get to Battlefront. This game, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to like it or not, and actually I love this game. This game's very fun. My girlfriend's not into video games at all, but I want to get a second controller, and, you know, she can use my headset or maybe even get her another headset. And her and I can co-op couch play on this. That would be a lot of fun. I think we'd have a blast taking out stormtroopers, waves and waves of them. I do have fun with it. It's very intense, very cool. I do like this game. More of this will be definitely on my channel. I do like this game quite a bit. Thumbs up for Battlefront. I love it. Let's get to Far Cry. Or No, 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 no. God, I, that's 2014. Come on! Holy crap! Just Cause 3. 
This game, very tedious also. I went through this game, I completed every single, whatever you want to call them, province, province I guess is what you call it. I took care of every little settlement throughout the whole thing, except one. There's one that's just a pain. That's the Falco um, base. And it has like a nuclear heat-seeking missile that comes and finds you wherever you're at, and it blows you the heck up. And you don't die automatically, but it will find you again, and then you're dead. That's it. You're, there's no getting into the fortress. It's, it's locked solid, so I pretty much have to play through the game, and then play through the main missions. I have everything else done. Play through the main missions to shut that down so that I can actually get that base completely taken care of. It is a fun game. It's a lot of destroying. The plot, I'm pretty sure, is to take down the dictator, which has my name. Just a little bit fancier way of saying my name. But he has the same exact name as me. It's Sebastiano. That's how you say it. And he's a little dictator. And you just have to kill him. But it's a good game. I would recommend it if you want to get it. Go ahead and get it. It's fun. If you're into the grinding, destruction, all that cool stuff, farming in a game, that's definitely something to go for. Two games. You know, I'm just going to announce my favorites right now. These two games right here took my heart for the year of 2015. Best games out there. And I am in love with them. One shocked me. Actually, both shocked me. The Witcher, the Witcher Wild Hunt 3 and Assassin's Creed Syndicate. My favorite games of 2015. We'll get to it here. The Witcher Wild Hunt. Now, I never was into the Witcher series. I, pl I tried playing 2. It was very aggravating, very irritating. I never got through it. I barely played any of it. It just irritated me. I did not like it one bit. And when The Witcher 3 came out, I watched a big YouTuber play this game, and I'm like, this game actually looks really sweet. I like the way it, the story, the graphics are absolutely beautiful, the fighting, all that just drew me to it. And I was like, you know what? I want to give this game a shot, because one thing I wanted to see was, like, is this game going to be easy to, or is this character, Geralt, going to be easy to, le to level up? And the level up system is pretty cool, very unique. In the way you do it and a lot of branches to take care of but uh all in all great video game absolutely amazing video game i didn't do a whole lot on it i want to do the ending on it but by the time i got the game everybody's already seen it and i'm like there's no point there's no point in putting that out i enjoyed it i played it through i made uh that was yennefer yennefer i made her my woman because uh yeah I just feel like she just holds a special place in Geralt's heart, and I thought that'd be perfect. And I dissed all the other women. Maybe. So, this was a great game. I love it. I'm actually, I started a new game, wanted to do more of it. I haven't even got to play the expansion yet, really. Um, and I don't want to say um, I hate saying um. But, I thought that, I don't know, I just, I just think this game's cool, I'm gooing and gone all over it, I need to stop. Because now we need to get to this game, a later game, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This game right here is freaking sweet now. I'll say it again, i probably say it a million other times, I love the Industrial Revolution. It's an awesome time period, even though a lot of, it was, it was nothing but hell the whole entire time. But it's just an interesting time period, and, and everything about it's very interesting. The history, the information on it, it's awesome, and I love learning about it. This game here shocked me, and the and the reason why, the reason being, is because I play Assassin's Creed Unity, and I hated it. I did not like it. I loved the French Revolution. It was cool that it took place in that time period. I did not like it, though, because they made, they made Assassin's Creed a lot harder in Unity. They made it too hard. Too hard to do anything. Black Flag's my favorite. I like number two. I like Black Flag. And I love Syndicate. Those those take the cake for me in the Assassin's Creed universe. Those take the cake for me. After Unity, I was like, I'm not going to play another Assassin's Creed game. They're making too many of them. It's irritating. I'm done. And then I seen a big YouTuber. I like to kind of, I I like watching YouTube myself. I'm not only a YouTuber, but I love watching people YouTube and big YouTubers. And uh, that's those people got me into what I do now. And I was watching him play, and I'm like, the fighting was beautiful. I mean, you're just like, bah, 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 bah. you know, you're just him and doing the face, knock him down. You come up, you Superman punch him, you knock him out. He's done. 
And the fighting was just beautiful. You know, you, you block, you hit, you just... It's like they brought the fighting back that I love. The fighting was the biggest thing in Assassin's Creed. Because it's like when you get a bunch of guys all around you, you have to be able to do something. And if you can't do something, then you're going to die. And they brought that back. And I grinded and I farmed on this game like crazy. I got my guy the best suit. The mo I have so much money. I think I have like 300,000... Um, coins on there? What do you call them? What do they, what do they say it was? Uh, Euros. I'm pretty sure. Yes. I have 300,000 300, of those, or I'm close to 300,000, you know, whatever. And it's just awesome. And I actually got, I want to get the, uh, what was that for? I want to get the expansion pass for Jack the Ripper, so that's something I definitely want to do. I love it. It's an amazing game. I recommend it to anyone. If you haven't played Assassin's Creed Syndicate, go out and get it. It's awesome. I love it. I didn't put a whole lot of uh, videos on YouTube, excuse me, on YouTube because I'm what I do with my channel is when I put a video out, I like to see it get like 10 views. If it gets 10 views and hits 10 views, that means people like it. That means people are watching it. That means I need to get more out. If it's only getting two, three v views a video... I'm not going to bother with it anymore. There's no point. And so what I do with those videos, or those video games, is what I do is I play those on the side. So when I'm not doing YouTube, and I'm not with my girlfriend, and I'm not at work, I'm playing the, the game that didn't get to get recognized on YouTube because I don't want to... I went out and bought this game, or I got this game from a family member for like Christmas or whatever, and I don't want to sit there and ignore that game. I want to play it through and see if I can't get through it and see if I can't discover the awesomeness of a game. Because I love video games. Everything about a video game is awesome. So with that all said, these two are my favorite of 2015. I'm excited to see what they have in store for 2016. I think they have Far Cry Prime. No, excuse me. Pr Far Cry Primal. Seems like there's other games that are coming out this year that... I was thinking about and excited for. They need to make another Shadow of Mordor. That just needs to happen. That was a very huge game for me, 2014, and I never made a video about it. But that, with that all being said, those two games are my favorite. It was a great year, 2015. I'm looking for a great year of 2016. I hope you all are too, with your re resolutions and everything that you do. And with that all being said... I love each and every one of you. Live, laugh, and be super. Tell your friends and family about me. The support would be awesome. Keep on watching my videos. Keep on liking them, commenting, all that cool stuff on them. And until the next video or the next create video game video or something, I'll, I'll hook something up so we're not just doing straight up video games. I want you all to be entertained and be fun and, and have it for all range of ages, from young kids to adults. So you're all having fun, all happy, have more subscribers, more heroes. I need all those heroes at my round table. Remember that. I love each and every one of you. See you later. Goodbye. Mwah.